Hey everybody, so today I am here to share with you guys what is in my husband's stocking. I've already done my kids' stockings. I've already shown you what we are getting the kids for Christmas. I included their ideas that they're gonna ask Santa for. So I will link all of those videos and as much as I can down below. And just to start it off with his stocking, this is the same old stocking I've shown in all of his videos now this time of year. It's one we got from Target. I'm not sure I'll be able to link it because I bought this years and years ago, so I'm not sure if they have anything like that, but that's what we go for. And somebody had asked me on Instagram if my stockings keep their shape as they do like in the thumbnails and stuff, and they don't. I just stuff those with clothes and I peek stuff out of the top just to kind of give you guys a nice thumbnail. But normally when I pack these full, they are crazy looking. They're all misshapen and weird. So by no means do I know how to perfectly pack a stocking or do they keep their shape. That's just all show for YouTube. So we're gonna start off with candy just because there's only a few things. My husband's appetite when it comes to snacks is that of a stereotype stereotypical 16 year old boy. So just imagine that and that's exactly what I buy for. So the only thing I'm missing is like a bar of chocolate. I try to get him something a little different, something dark chocolate, but I just pick that up at a store whenever I find it. So that will go in there whenever I find something that I think he would enjoy. But until then, I have the same Sour Patch Cole pieces that I gave the girls. And then I also got these Warheads. These aren't gonna be sour. Mark loves anything sour and the more sour, the better. These aren't, but he still likes Warheads and stuff like that. Same with these Sour Punch straws. Again, they're not sour, but he still really enjoys them. And I got, I think most of those at Walmart. And like I said, some kind of bar of chocolate. Now I do get him like a couple of like gag gift type of things. Things that still serve a purpose, but obviously they're more lighthearted. They're maybe cheaper, whatever it may be. So the first thing is, is this little head massager. They had a whole end cap of these at Walmart and Mark loves having his head scratched and his hair played with and stuff like that. So I know he will use this, but I just saw it and immediately thought of him. And then the next thing I got him is this toilet timer for dads. I mean, I feel like if you live with a stereotypical dad, you just know. So it's a timer that you actually use so that when they go to the bathroom and they take 45 minutes to poop, They've got a little timer to keep track of how long they've been there. I thought this was the funniest thing, and I feel like he's really going to get a kick out of it, and also the kids too, because they always tease him. There's that. And then I have a couple more useful things that I think he'll honestly use. <laughs> I don't know which one to start with because this one's kind of funny, but I guess I'll go with this one. So this is a little, they call it a condiment fork, but I think what I searched in Amazon was like a pickle grabber or something like that. So basically it's hangs off the side of your pickle jar. There's a loop around here that you just put on there. And then you have this little pickle fork that hangs off to the edge and that way you just pick up the pickles with that. Is it silly? Yes. Is it necessary? No. So there's a look at what the actual fork looks like. It's got little protective things on it, but it's sharp, but you don't have to put your whole finger down into the pickle jar. And I know that there's ones that like strain the liquid and stuff, but this fits in a stocking. I thought this was silly and the kids might even use it too because they love pickles as much as he does. So there's that. And then I also got him this keyboard duster. So it's basically like a bunch of gel, bunch of goop slime type stuff in here, but it really clings to any dirt, dust, all that stuff. And my husband loves his PC. That's what he games on the most. And he does have air cleaner that he uses from time to time, but I thought maybe this would be helpful like in between that because that's a whole ordeal of like taking it outside and making sure the dust doesn't get all over the house. But this you're able to just basically roll over a surface and pick up dirt. So the last three gifts are really sentimental and I took my time picking them. I mean, I guess the one I didn't, but I do always put a movie in his stocking. Sometimes it's the gag gift, sometimes it's not. And this year I was able to get F9, which is the ninth movie in the Fast and Furious series. This was actually a really good movie. We both really liked it. It has almost nothing to do with cars anymore, but he still watches them. He still collects them because he has the whole series so I got him the F9 and if I can link this to Walmart and it's still on sale I will because this was only nine dollars as like an early Black Friday deal so that's pretty good so the next to last thing is this hand crocheted beanie that I got from this native owned shop 
Alicia and I follow each other on Instagram and I have for a while and she makes beautiful beautiful things and I saw her slouchy beanies and I was like I really feel like Mark would like it he has the one that I gave him in his stocking like a couple years ago but I got it at a TJ Maxx it's not really holding up that well it's just kind of looking a little dingy and it doesn't really feel like it's going to keep him that warm and this winter so far has been colder so I wanted to get him something really nice and I am so impressed with this quality it's not the first hand crocheted thing that I've ever owned but Alicia's work is just amazing and I love her tag. I'm not sure what this material is of her tag but it's so soft and I just know like it's not going to bug him. It's not going to be itchy or anything. So I am super impressed with this and I actually reached out to her. I asked her if she was making any more and if she could make them in like a dark black color like not completely black but still pretty much black because that's the like color of beanie that he wears the most often and she said yes yeah, she got this done so quickly for me she shipped it out she was just like such a joy to work with i'm going to link her shop down below so if you are in the market for some beanies or she makes tons of other stuff too so it's not just beanies but definitely check out her shop i am so impressed with the quality 10 out of 10 recommend so i know he's gonna love this it's super thick and i know it's gonna keep him warm and then the last thing mark and i agreed no presents this year we both just couldn't think of things we wanted so instead of just asking for stuff that didn't naturally come to mind we decided to just stick to stockings and i did technically i just didn't know how big this was gonna be so i have all of this stuff but i did want to get something that he really had been wanting and in my defense on Amazon, it looks small. So he wanted this Elgato Wave 3 microphone. And, you know, I figured it's a microphone. Like, how big can it be? I'll just put it into his stocking. It'll be fine. I just forgot to take into account the packaging. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, you know, they would just ship me just a microphone, not in a box or anything at all. And, like, it doesn't come with cords and cables and stands and stuff like that. Regardless, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap this up and I'm going to hide it because I'm the one who puts out the presents like for the girls while he's assembling the big present from mom and dad. It's going to make it even better because I've been totally hyping him up that I got something for his stocking that I'm like just so excited and I kicked him out of the house today so I could film this so there was absolutely no chance he could hear me talk about this. So he's going to be expecting something really nice in his stocking and he's going to open his stocking to see that stuff which is nice but he's going to be confused and I know he is. He's going to be like what was she so excited about? I don't understand. And then once it's all kind of settled and died down I can be like oh look at that present behind the tree. I wonder who that's for. And there we go. So this was a little bit more expensive than something you stick in a stocking. And in my defense, I thought I could fit it in there. But nonetheless, he has a YouTube channel. He likes making video game content. I'm going to link his channel in case you guys... But don't tell him I sent you because then he'll know something's up. So you can definitely watch quietly, engage with his videos and stuff like that. Subscribe to his channel if you want to. But he makes video game content, mostly Call of Duty and Phasmophobia those are the games that he plays the most. But uh, yeah, so he really enjoys working on his channel and his content when he can. And he just wanted a nice microphone to, to go with the rest of his stuff. And I know he already has Elgato things. So this just will kind of go in the realm of what he already has going on. And uh, yeah, so I think that's actually going to work out really well. I think I'm going to be able to surprise him and just I know, I know he's going to really enjoy this. So, but that is everything as far as what's going in my husband's stocking. Let me know down in the comments below if the men in your life are as hard to shop for as mine. I just always struggle when it comes to them. It feels like they get what they need and what they want, when they want it, when they need it. So it kind of makes it a little difficult to get creative with them. But hopefully this helped. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.